guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel and the series that I'm going to be starting is my relaxer update so this video would be my first relaxer update and I plan on making a relaxer update every time I get a relaxer so the following day I'll wake up and film a video and just basically go over my goals how my hair has been acting over the past three months or however long I decided to stretch my relaxer for and basically like update you guys on the products that I've been using if they're the same if they're different and so forth like that just some basic stuff like that but since this is the first video I will be sharing with you guys a little background information so that we're all on the same page on you know my relaxers and what I plan on doing with my hair and stuff like that so I just want to make sure that we're all clear and there's no confusion so that you know people aren't leaving comments in the comment section just basically asking things that I discussed in previous videos so I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page and we can move forward from there let's start off by discussing the length of my hair the length of my hair right now is mid back length and um, it's not really where I want it to be quite honestly I do plan on growing my hair out to tailbone length eventually but I know that's gonna take a minute because I don't like to have straggly ends I just think it's so pointless to have long hair and your ends are just like straggly you know what I mean so I just feel like if your hair is all one length it just looks more healthier and you know it's easier to spot out a split in opposed to waiting till they're all like janky and stuff like that so basically I do get my ends trimmed every time I get a relaxer which currently I get a relaxer every three months and I use the Satonix relaxer now if you guys haven't seen my relaxer day vlog I will leave uh, the link in this description box of this video down below and I will also put it on the screen right here somewhere right now so you guys can go check out that video if you want to know more in depth about the relaxer I use and how my stylist does my hair and stuff like that but basically just to give you a quick rundown I use the Satonix relaxer and she used the whole Satonix line of like shampoo conditioners and all that stuff on my hair and then I just do like a wash and wrap which basically is like she washes it out and she wraps my hair blow dries it but irons it wraps it sits me under the dryer for like five minutes and then she unwraps me and that's my style personally that's what I enjoy because I don't know if you guys know by now but I like really 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 straight hair so I enjoy having the wash and wrap Another thing that I want to discuss with you guys is protective hairstyles. So I know I did just get my relaxer yesterday and I just want to come on here and share with you guys. I don't want to be like non-transparent or anything like that. I do have in clip-ins right now. These are my Euronext clip-ins. I bought these from Sally's. However, I bought these a while back and I lost a few of them. A lot of them actually. I'm only working with four clip-ins so you get uh, I think you get around 12 clip-ins and I'm only working with four so this is what it looks like right now and to me it doesn't bother me because my hair is fine naturally so it just blends perfectly for me and yeah I really enjoy them so it works best for me like I just said so the last thing that I want to discuss with you guys is why I was not able to stretch a whole three months to get my relaxer done. I was currently 11 weeks post relaxer so I only had one more week to go but I hope you guys understand why I did what I did and basically can get where I'm coming from. So a company reached out to me and wanted me to do a review on some of their weave for them, their wax or whatever bundles, whatever you, you guys know what I'm talking about. So they wanted me to do a review on some hair for them which I don't have a problem with doing a review on hair for companies just for the simple fact that we're going into the winter months and that's really where I bulk up on sew-ins like I really wear majority of my sew-ins during the colder months because my hair really does not like the cold at all so when they reached out to me to do this product review I was at the time 10 weeks post relaxer so I hit up my relax I hit up my stylist and I asked her like hey can you squeeze me in to get um, my relaxer done because you know I need it I need to get it done and she was like yeah girl you can come in on Tuesday we'll have the band blase 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 but I decided to push up my relaxer because I just think it's very unprofessional if a company sends me hair to do a review on it for you guys if I have the hair waiting three weeks after I get my relaxer because I'm not going to braid my hair up and sew it back in before three weeks after I've got my relaxer so basically what I'm trying to explain to you guys is after I get my relaxer done I wait three weeks before I braid it up 
or put any type of sew-ins in my hair just for the simple fact that I did get my hair relaxed and you guys if you don't know you can't put braids right back in your hair after you get it relaxed because that causes breakage damage and all that bad stuff that I'm trying to stay away from so in the meantime I would just wear clip-ins for those first three weeks of me being relaxed and then after that I just go ahead and you know start to go into my protective hairstyles so I didn't want this company to wait three weeks plus an additional two weeks because I don't like just installing hair and then giving you guys a review because I think that's kind of unhonest because if you put in hair you guys I'm not new to wearing sew-ins or weaves I know that on the first week the hair is on its best behavior I'm like not even joking I'm so here with you guys I understand that so for me to do a review the first week that I get the hair that's like lying to you guys telling you oh yeah the hair is very nice very silky no tangles yeah it's gonna be like that because it's the first week of wearing the hair like you really have to wear the hair for a period of time longer than two weeks to really get the full review so with that being said I wanted to get my relaxer done a little bit before the time that it was you know initially time for me to get my relaxer done which would have been three months 12 weeks post relaxer so that by the time the hair got here I could go ahead and wait and it wouldn't be as long well the day that I got my relaxer done was the exact same day that the hair I received the hair so it really just didn't weigh out for me but in this case it's gonna be worth it because I couldn't stretch my relaxer longer than three months because I already have under processed hair and I'll be making a video explaining that horror story and basically what happened with that but I just didn't want to stretch my relaxer six months or five months and just half-fast do like a review for you guys. I basically wanted to take my time and do a proper review for you guys and for the company so that we're all on the same page and we're all just happy, go lucky, okay? So I hope you guys are not mad at me for that and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. And if you don't, I'm sorry, but this is the decision that I decided to make for the better of my hair and for my subscribers. And I hope you guys can really appreciate appreciate it at the end of the day that I'm really being honest and truthful to you guys I'm not lying to you guys I just want to make sure that we're all clear and on the same page at the end of the day so that's gonna be it for this relaxer update number one the next one will be in three months so just kind of expect it around like January February ish I believe I'm gonna get it right before I go back to school so that way you know I'm not worried about doing my own relaxer and you know stretching over the time that you know I need to stretch so that way you know I'm not gonna damage my hair or anything like that so make sure you guys stay tuned in for the next relaxer update and if you have any questions please make sure you leave them down in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a big fat thumbs up make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will catch you guys on my next video the whole year of 2015 you guys I wore sew-ins I was using cheap hair I was using hair that I could just basically get my hands on. I was recycling my hair. Every day that I 